Prima Media's Mining Weekly is interviewing Terry Hamilton, the former technical director of Gullick South Africa. The topic is the water-powered impact rock-breaking machine developed by Comro in 1989 for the non-explosive mining of gold-bearing reef of the South African gold mining industry. Why use water as the operating fluid? And why then the use of water? It's fairly readily available underground. I couldn't think of another um, fluid that, that would be more suitable in actual fact. When did the potential for breaking rock by water powered impacting become the focus? The intent was they would be powered by water. The reality was it took a little while to, to develop a um, the system which would um, produce the sort of extraction rates that were needed to improve productivity um, and to develop equipment that which worked on water. There was a, a development period for both. The system, which actually was put together um, through a, um, several iterations, and uh, the, the equipment itself, which it's easy to make a hydraulic cylinder work on water, but not a high-speed reciprocating uh, impact hammer. And uh, that was the difficulty at the end of the day. Um, we actually, back in the 70, 74, 75, tried to persuade uh, the chamber uh, guys who visited the UK to find out what we can do. Um, we actually tried to persuade them that it would be better to establish a system on a known fluid with lubricity um, than, than go straight for water, which in fact happened. It happened that way. And it had to happen that way because of the difficulties in developing high-speed um, re reciprocating hammers to work on water from the outset. The water is used to cool the mine, so it's available. It's cooled. It's, it's cooled in the hydropower uh, application, and it's dropped down, it's dropped down a uh, column of, of uh, 300 mil diameter, and at the bottom of that column, usually you've got 20, 25 MPA available to power the equipment. And then it was exhausted onto the rock itself to cool the environment. That's where the water comes in for use. It's there. It's down there. Yeah. And if, you, if it is down there, you may as well utilize the, the pressure available from a column. Then you just break the, the pressure and just spray the water around. That was the idea. I believe the hydropower patent, which is still um, in force, I, I would think, um, that was um, raised by uh, Noel Jochen, who was then director of the chamber, actually um, is held by Noel Jochen, and that, that is how hydropower became the buzzword, in fact. At the end of the day, the Gold Producers Committee funded um, all the research that um, was done by the chamber and their collaborators. And uh, I think they pulled the plug. That was Clear Media's Mining Weekly, speaking to Terry Hamilton, the former director of Gallic South Africa.